Hey everyone, I am so excited to share this new tool with you. Um, for us as ISSs or even as instructors, teachers, we can now unplug from the smart board and control the instruction from any point in our, our learning environment. So as an ISS, we can be monitoring and walking around, have our station in the back of the room. As a teacher, we can be monitoring or give our device to a particular student who is going to control it from their location, still allows for social distancing. I'm super, super excited to share this new tool with you. It's called Smart Screen Share, and you too can install it on your device and use it today. Let me show you how to make it happen. So to start, you're going to install Smart Screen Share right here. If you're not sure where to go for that, or if you don't have it installed already, go to the magnifying glass and type in Software Center. You're gonna to go to the Software Center. This is where you as a user can self-install programs that benefit you and your teaching or learning. So you're gonna search in here for Smart Screen Share and you can organize it alphabetically, things like that. Once you click on it, you can install or uninstall, right? Install super quick, it's a small file. It shows up on your desktop. So we're going to launch the Smart Screen Share, let it open up, and you're gonna capture the, the um, IP address on the IFP. We're gonna come down here and we're gonna select this screen share button here. Now, your IFP needs to be either hardwired or wireless. Either one will work. And what you're looking for is this IP address. So you're gonna type that IP address into the smart screen software on your computer. This is specific to the IFP in my room. And I'm going to click connect. From here, I'm going to click start, uh, start sharing. And instantly, I'm gonna click accept, and instantly it starts streaming my computer. So you can see it's on my screen. I have no wires attached. What's really cool is um, anything that you see on my screen here will show up on that screen over there. So I'm going to finagle some cameras and show you what I mean. On my computer, I'm gonna pull up just YouTube because what's really important sometimes is being able to screen share, but also screen share with audio. So for the purpose of this video, I'm going to put audio in it. Okay, so I am streaming to the, the IFP with audio and there are no wires attached to my computer. Okay, so you can see that this process works pretty easily. Now, to control the audio, it does provide audio on both the computer and the IFP. To fix this echo, come down to your computer and mute the sound on your computer. And then you can control the audio here on the IFP. But honestly, for the majority of our instruction, if you're just broadcasting and showing, great. Um, I do want to show you, though, I guess this one last piece is if you want to write on the board, you can do that. All I have to do is pick up my pen and start writing. It's going to take a screenshot of my board. Whatever's on my screen is going to take a screenshot. I can now... right on my board, it captures it, and when I'm done, I can X out in the upper right corner, I can save it, discard it, or cancel it. So this is a great way to save your files, um, and if you're logged in with your Smart Learning Suite online into the board, it'll save it automatically into my account um, when I'm logged into the board. So, once you're done, it'll dip, unpause any video or audio, that's it, friends. Super exciting! I think you should all put smart screen share on your computers today.